This is a piece of which I think is petrified wood that I found recently. So I'm going to begin the process of tumbling this just to see how it goes at 80 grit, 220 grit and all the relevant grit phases and polishing phases. So follow along. This is week one. Let's get this one in the tumbler. Wow, it's spinning round and round, but it is time, it's been a week. Let's get this particular number six tumbler out and see how the petrified wood piece is going. So tumbler number six has had 80 grit. Um, we're gonna take it over to the tap and give it a rinse. Well, I'm at the rinse station. I've lifted the lid off, as you can see. So we'll get that rinsed up, make sure to clean the tumblers out, give them a scrub, because this um, AT grit um, really kind of sticks to the black edges. So we're going to clean all that up. We don't want any of it sticking to the black tumbler. So let's get on with the job. Okay, let's get this rinsed up. Oh my goodness, they're already looking smooth, even though they've got all the uh, sort of gray grit around them. Looking quite nice looking good now there's one particular rock that i am following for the next few weeks so i hope you follow along be sure to subscribe and like the content if you're interested let's have a look here it is i can see it already wow it needs a bit more of a rinse it is looking really nice now i was thinking this might be a piece of petrified wood it's got a lot of uh, feel about it just looks like petrified wood it just has a lot of little gaps all filled in that are calcified over time so this is the rock that we will be following for the next uh, three or four weeks check it out mind you the others in there are looking pretty good let's get them rinsed up giving the old uh, tumbler a good scrub really good scrub all right they've all been rinsed off let's have a little bit of a quick look um, like I said, this is the piece that we are following. Following this piece along the way. See how it looks in about uh, four to five weeks time. We've got some other ones here. Look at this beauty, just magnificent. And you know, they feel so much smoother than they did last week. This is week one of this particular batch. And check out this gorgeous little pudding stone that I found, absolutely beautiful. Look at that gorgeous and and this one here too this was another gorgeous little rock that i found at, at the beach very happy with how that feels feels really smooth now these are just your normal beach rocks here in south australia that'll all go back into um 220 grit uh today so this is a bit of a rinse off and uh, preparation for the 220 grit looking magnificent oh look at this one that is just gorgeous so gorgeous and this is another beauty look at that look at the colors in that wow just magnificent let's get them in oh very very nice indeed gorgeous look at that look at that lovely orange striping tone through there really pretty and we're back in the workshop as you can see there's a lot more rocks to get through and to tumble but these are going into 220 grit um, next week's project will be these rocks. They're ready to go into uh, 80 grit and begin their process next week. But today it is a process of getting these back in the tumbler, spinning for another week and just having a bit of a look, making sure there's no rough edges. Look at that. Isn't that stunning? Just magnificent. Look at that. You know, looking them, uh, at them with a light, Jay standing next to me here. She's got her uh, <laughs> light on. Look at that. That one's got a little bit of a rough patch. It definitely needs a lot longer in the tumbler. And just magnificent rocks. Beautiful. This is a beauty. Look at that. It's almost like a marble. Lots of colours in there. So smooth. Magnificent. Oh, look at that one. Now, these felt quite rough they were sort of you know if i was to get some of these old ones out of here 
you'll see, you know, these look rough and, and this one hasn't been in the tumbler. But can you imagine the colour on this when it does get its tumbling um, opportunity down in the next few days, few weeks time? It's just magnificent. So these are what we're concentrating on and I'm following this rock. Just beautiful. Just magnificent. That will be a stunning necklace. And there's way more. I mean, I'm loading it up. I was just looking at this one in here and noticed the fault line. There's an incredible fault line through there, that line. Um, there we go, can we focus on that? And see how it's shifted and that thick white line has just moved over to the left? Just incredible, just in and around up there. Now that is something really interesting to observe when you do um, rock tumbling. Very nice indeed. And then this one in particular as well. I mean, look at the layers there. Magnificent, just magnificent. Oops, dropped it. Just gonna keep going through them all. Um, having a bit of a look some of the smaller ones very nice indeed you can always go back and have a look at some of the other rock videos I've done look at this gorgeous now this would make a lovely necklace as well just beautiful very shiny they've got a lovely feel and the good old-fashioned sedimentary kind of rock just gorgeous color beautiful color lovely stripes really pretty and this one, another beautiful necklace or you know, having a little bit of a curve like that would even make a lovely uh, bracelet. Drill two holes, one at each end, pop a bit of leather through. Perfect bracelet piece. And there's just so many. It's just so, so many. Just, we keep going, we'll pop all these in. Um, have a look at this one, look at this one. Oh, wow. Just glorious. And then the little ones. Beautiful, beautiful things. Get them all in there. Look at that. Just gorgeous. Oh, wow. Look at those. Rocks are amazing. Let's get some 220 grid on these and get them back on the tumbler. Check out this one. It's got like a little diamond clear section in the centre. Mother Nature made that. A little diamond shape just beautiful look at that just stunning right we get some 220 ceramics in there now for those of you that don't know you keep your ceramics uh, to kind of match your grit so if you've got 220 grit then it's best to have a container of 220 ceramics so that you only use that ceramic for that particular grit so I keep my um, grits in accordance to my um, ceramics and vice versa ceramics to grits so that I um, can keep it all a little simpler and more organized and uh, you never overfill your tumbler you have the water going just to sort of just till you can sort of see it um, it's a bit hard to show perhaps on camera but kind of just about there like just on the edge there and uh, just sort of touching that first layer of rocks you can sort of see the water there and that's plenty of water let's get the grit on so this is now the 220 grit we just need two scoops of that uh, nice and level get a scoop in there and then get another scoop give it a bit of a shake make sure you just get sort of enough on there in it goes be careful when you're breathing some of this grit and stuff in it's very fine so we put that away now pop the lid on put the grit away so we don't spill it and we'll pop the lid on at the tumbler screw it all down nice and tight and get it back on the machine so it tumbles for another week so once our lids on we get uh, the metal lid on screw it down nice and firm not too tight just sort of like you, you can feel the tension just so you know it's not going to open up that it's going to maintain its strength with the lid and not sort of burst out and spill out everywhere and we get that back on the tumbler um, just an easy process got two tumblers going on my machine here and this one's just going to pop in there and off it goes for another week and tumbler number five, if you remember, um, we have got polishing going on. So we are not dealing with that today. Um, polishing is next week. Tumbler number six is 220 grit. 
And I have a board up here where I write all my information. It guides me as to where I'm at with my tumbling process. Well, that's all it uh, for today. We have got the tumblers all sorted out until next week. Thanks for watching and bye for now.